my maybe bigger question uh, relates to proof of stake. Wouldn't isn't that just in in case uh, it you know one gets some sort of good working solution uh, superior because you know it, it essentially the security is yeah. the value of the whole network, not just a subset, which is well, the, the value of the actual hardware. You 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 have a key a key point here is that if someone gets a good solution and it and it seems. So, you know, time travel is also fantastic if someone gets a good solution. Uh, perpetual motion is also a good thing if someone gets so a solution. So you don't believe it's possible? So I was very excited when the first proposals around proof of stake um, came out in 2011 and thought, like, okay, this is going to radically change our risk factors in the future. But um, on deeper analysis, we ran into some, some really fundamental problems that I that basically you can only work around by making a very different security trade-off um, where you abandon civil resistance or you rely on centralized signers. And I, we've seen this in systems that have been deployed out in the wild where they've deployed proof-of-stake systems which were attacked and then they resolve them by applying things like a developer signing, signing blocks to prevent reorganizations. So if it were it would be very interesting, but it seems that it's probably not without some different security model. And different security models can be okay, um, but they're harder to analyze. And it's not, it's not clear that you, it's clear that you don't get the same thing you get from Bitcoin. It's not clear if the thing you get is, is actually useful. Um, yeah, so a couple of things to add maybe. So one is there's a sort of uh, economic principle to mining. So there's a kind of mining commodity price that the market where miners will be willing to expend up to the current market price of the commodity to mine it. And so if you radically change the cost of getting coins, you know, presuming there is still mine, mining going on, there's a potential for that economic self-interest to flow somewhere else, right? to result in buying political favors, or influencing this committee, or influencing the committee that's handing out coins, or you know, that, that built up economic demand has to go somewhere, so it's maybe not a nece necessarily a bad thing that a commodity costs has a production cost, right? Mm. Um, to, to add a little more color on the, the proof of stake, uh, system, right, there's a, basically a general, a generalized counter-argument that, that you can basically take any proof-of-stake system and say, well, okay, what happens if you just, uh, you own some coins, say you owned all the coins at the beginning of the network. Um, the network goes on, you sell your coins, you exit the network, but then later you show back up with your original coins and create a simulated network, a, a second fork of it, and you show it to someone who's new to the system and they can't distinguish between the honest network and the dishonest network. So that's, that's a very fundamental difference. And so what you basically end up having to do to fix that is to say, okay, well, we're not actually going to use proof of stake as our consensus mechanism. We're going to use, like, ask a friend as a consensus mechanism. And you can do that, but it has a very different security model. It's what Bitcoin explicitly doesn't do because ask a friend is incredibly difficult to automate in a secure way because of civil attacks, you know, people who pretend to be many entities in order to rig the state of the system. Um, so it, it's a process that gives you a very, I think the proof of stake of it is really a distraction, right? The security of that system reduces to whatever you do to, to repair the nothing at stake attack. And sometimes those trade-offs are good in some environments and maybe they're not good in others. Yeah, oft, often it seems to degrade into a different proof of work, which is to grind alternate transaction histories to find one which results in you receiving the coins. So. You know, if, that, if that's how it degrades, you're better off to stick to a proof of work because you can build ASICs for it, which avoid... I mean, so if you, if you were to be able to find a proof of work that can't be optimized by ASICs, which, which seems generally impossible, but hypothetically, then um, it's vulnerable to you know, renting equipment on a temporary basis, so going and renting a large portion of Amazon's cloud computing infrastructure. So you, you really don't want short-term renting of mining equipment. And if money equipment is generic, as would be the case for, you know, grinding alternate transaction histories for proof of state, then you have a problem there. 
So, I mean, if, if somebody finds a solution, I mean, as Greg said, he was interested in it until he saw the limitations, and if somebody does mm -hmm. find some magic that solves it, great. You know, Bitcoin would be very happy to see that happen and would adopt it. So, so, so if this is interesting to you, you should look... Um, so Andrew, uh, Andrew Polstra wrote a, a little white paper that sort of summarizes this, the common deep technical... Yeah, I think I read that. Yeah, so... It's, it's got some good information, although it, what it doesn't try to do is do a point-by-point -point rebuttal of the infinite series of sort of ad hoc patches that people have tried to do to, to get around the fundamental issues. Um, but that's pretty interesting, um, and, I, and I recommend people familiarize themselves with that. It's uh, some good food for thought. Um, but yeah, if, it, if it's made to work in, in a model that gives good security, it would be, it would be useful to use. It's just uh, I haven't seen it yet. And a lot of the things we've seen proposed recently for proof of stake are actually older ideas that had shown up on Bitcoin Talk and in Bitcoin Wizards a couple of years ago and had sort of been discarded because they, the goal really there was people were trying to get proof of stake to offer a decentralization and security like Bitcoins and you know, couldn't, couldn't use some of these ideas to achieve it. But maybe they're, they're still useful if you're willing to make some different trade-offs in the security model.